Welcome to Dodgers Daily. I'm Casey Porter. I'm so glad that you decided to tune in downtown Oklahoma City Bricktown Ballpark. We have a very special guest this afternoon, outfielder in the Dodgers organization, Ryan Ward, better known as Wardo in the organization, joins Dodgers Daily. So, hey, third time I've got a chance to talk to you. It's always a pleasure. Yeah, great to be here. Thank you for having me. Okay, first of all, light moment. I know you can take this. The Patriots, I know you went to the playoff game in 2021 where they lost in the first round so hey can they bounce back this year yeah i mean i hope they can uh, i've read a lot of good things about the rookie receivers they got going uh they got a good defense they always have a good defense so so just seeing if, if max gonna take the next jump and see if the Patriots can get something rolling it'll, it'll be cool to watch this year i believe they start on thursday don't they yeah yeah i think they're playing houston first preseason game yeah. on thursday so so i'll be watching so talking about boston hey nick roberts and justin hagman they just got traded to the red sox organization I'm sure they asked you a million different questions on what to do in that area, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They uh, they asked about like living situations. Yeah. They asked about like where to go to eat, uh, where to grab a drink, all that kind of stuff. So it was cool to be able to help them and, and know the area really well. I mean, I spend my off seasons there, so so I know the area pretty well. And, and just being able to help them, and I'm happy for them. Great, great, great job for those guys, and, and I'm wishing them all the best. Yeah, of course, Boston's a big city, but you are from a small town, Millbury, Massachusetts. I believe it's like 3,000 people as far as the population. The, school, the high school you went to, less than 100 kids. Millbury, the Massachusetts, the Woolies. Okay, so Tulsa, Oklahoma City, kind of smaller, big town. So have you felt comfortable from that perspective? Yeah, yeah, I've been really comfortable. Uh, I've been comfortable with the atmosphere. The fans are great. Um, my family, my friends are actually here right now. Oh, They're in town. They came down this week. So it's pretty cool to just be able to have people come down and, and be a part of something, an organization like this. And yeah, I'm very comfortable here. Great fans and great atmospheres, and it's just a blast. So in the Dodgers organization, you get to play in the Midwest League in Michigan, which is cold. You get to play in the Texas League and then the PCL, which is Texas League especially because you're in this area the whole time. Very hot. Then you also get to play at One Oak, who has a as a left-handed hitter, a short porch to right field. Mm -hmm. Then you get to play here at Bricktown Ballpark, where it's like a cavern in the outfield. So as a left-handed hitter, you really get to experience everything and become a complete hitter, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, especially playing here, like playing in some of the other parks, uh, the ball can travel a little bit. And yeah. here, here tends to be kind of a dead zone in the outfield. So, so just being able to adjust and make the adjustments and, and continue having success is, is a big thing. Let me take you back to your offseason. Four o'clock in the morning, you'd wake up, you'd go do all your workouts with your dad, you'd go work eight hours a day, then you would come home after work, you'd get all your baseball work in, repeat that day after day. Would that be accurate? Yeah, yeah. Wake up in the morning, go work out, my dad would come with me, go to work all day, and then and then usually go to the cages or do my running after after the work day. Yeah. You know, of all the great stuff you're gonna do in the game of baseball, continue to do, those are probably the moments that you'll remember the most getting to spend with your dad. Yeah, that's great. It's awesome that he comes with me and a lot of good bonding time. So just continues to push me to be my best and, and that's awesome. Okay, the adjustment to AAA, you know, a lot of times, you know, in AA you have the, 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 the high ranked prospects, but they haven't made the major leagues yet. You get into AAA and it's a lot of 30 year olds who have a lot of major league time logged in and they can, you know, a lot more accurate as far as the strike zone. They can hit scouting reports better. So talk about the transition from AA to AAA. Yeah, it's definitely been an adjustment. I mean, I had a tough start to the year, uh, struggled a lot, just like learning about how pitchers are going to pitch me. Um, it's not guys really that are just going to throw their best stuff all the time. Like they're going to nitpick, they're going to put it where they want. Um, they're going to throw any pitch they want in any situation because they trust it. So so making that adjustment, talking to some of my teammates, the older guys and guys that have experience and just, just learning from them and, and continuing to watch film and, and look at reports and figure out like, okay, here's my weakness. This is where they're going to attack me. Where is their weakness? Where should I be looking to try and do damage off of them? Like how do I match up against this guy? And it was a learning curve. And uh, it was hard to, to trust that it wasn't a mechanics thing and it was approach thing and, and just riding those ups and downs and, and trying to figure it out. And I feel like I, I did a pretty good job figuring out. I started, started to come around lately, so, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Every time I talk to you, I like to ask you about your sliding scale. And what I mean by that is, obviously, you, you hit over 400 at Bryant. You're the only Bryant Bulldog to hit over 400. In a season, you hit 386 the season after that. So we know any time that you want, you know, hey, you could flatten your swing and have a very high average. But you'd also like to have quite a bit of power. Last year, before you got injured, you were tied for most of the season for the most amount of home runs of anybody in the entire organization. You, Michael Bush, Mookie Betts, Johnny DeLuca, you kind of, kind of went back and forth. So the sliding scale between batting average, strikeouts, and power, are you happy with where it's at right now? Um, yes, but I mean, I definitely could do better. I feel like I'm striking out a lot. And again, that was the learning curve that I was talking about in this league. Like I started getting pitched differently and 
and started chasing some stuff that I shouldn't have been and, and trying to do a little too much. So the strikeout numbers went up pretty quick on me. Uh, average was down a bit, but, but since I've, I've gotten to a better groove, the average is starting to come up, started striking out less, um, started walking a lot more, which, which is something that I haven't really done in, in this organization yet. I've kind of just gone up there and started swinging from the get-go. So seeing the walks go up and, and just trusting that I'm gonna get my pitch at some point in the at bat and, and really honing in on that has, has been a good thing for me. So yeah, I'd like to see a little less strikeouts, but I'm not gonna sit here and say, no, like I need to stop striking out. It's gonna happen and, sure. and just trusting that like I can get through it and, and continue to do the most with every at bat. So one of the best things about the Dodgers, of course it can be frustrating too, but hey, they don't have to move the prospects up real fast. There's so much talent here. So you get to go step by step. You get to see it all basically by the time you're in the position you're at. So having seen that, you know, right now as we speak, what things do you think you're good enough at doing right now to be a consistent major leaguer? Yeah, you know, um, just just like I just said, like starting to walk more, starting to yeah. get a better field strike zone, uh, just learning the ins and outs and, and learning how, how people are going to pitch to me, uh, like positioning, all that stuff, talking to the old guys, just listening to their experiences, uh, getting getting their thoughts on things. Like sometimes a play will happen when we're on defense and like come in and, and be able to ask one of the old guys, be like, hey, like this is what I did. Should I have done this? Yeah. What, what would you have done in that situation and why? And, and just learning from that. So I'm just trying to continue to learn and continue to get better every day. And, and hopefully that one day I'll get up there and, and can make something happen. We've seen a couple of guys, you know, uh, Michael Grove, Emmett Sheehan, go straight from double A to the major leagues. But by and large, hey, when you get to triple A, you're that much closer to your dream, which is the major leagues. So when you do that, how do you keep from pressing thinking, man, I am so close? Yeah, uh, it, it is close. It's always in the back of your head. It's always it's always there. You're always thinking about it. But but just staying committed, staying committed to your work ethic, to your work, getting better every day. Um, never being complacent with where I'm at. Like, I'm this close to my dream, I can't settle now. Like, now I just have to keep telling myself, like, you're close, keep working. You got yourself this far, just go a little further, keep going. And and that's kind of the mentality I take with it every day. Um, in the off season, spring training during the season is, is work's not over yet, job's not over yet, keep going, keep getting better. Message for kids. Yeah, I mean, that's that could be a good message for kids too. Like, yeah. you're gonna ride up and downs and, and just never get complacent. Like, you can always do something to get better, uh, whether it's, 1% every day or like you find something big, like just keep working, play in the backyard, play, throw a ball off a wall and field it. Like just keep having fun with yeah. the game and, and enjoying it. Yeah, awesome message, man. Hey, Rhino, Wardo, thank you so much for joining third time again. Like I said earlier, always a pleasure. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me.